Bonjour les enfants, et voilà. Just got this base in for a setup. Um, belongs to the bass player, obviously. Um, it's the bass player for Stone Foundation, which are um, the happening band at the minute, supporting everybody. And uh, they're going to be the next big thing. Already working with a really famous musician, English musician. Can't tell you his name, but they're already working with him. Uh, this is coming for a quick setup. It's the bass player's um, second guitar. Well, not even his second guitar. He only uses one guitar, but this is just his backup, just in case he uses an old. Uh, Music Man Stingray, and only bought one. I think it was about. I've had it into the uh, to the workshop before. I think it was about an '89 or something. I can't remember '87. I can't remember. But there is pictures on Mark's Naughty Guitars on Facebook. If you if you just scroll back, about a year or two years actually it was two years when it was in. Um, Music Man Stingray. That's his number one guitar, and it's brilliant. Now his, his his guitars, Neil's guitars, they take a lot of uh, beating. Really, he's known to get uh, excited and throw his bass at people now and again. This ain't had any knocks yet. There's a couple of impressions, but he, he brought this second hand. It's just a it's just a, a bass in case he breaks his other one, throwing it at people or whatever. But it's in really good nick, it just needs a really good setup. I mean, look, that's the intonation how it is at the minute. I don't know what's going on with the uh, with the G string. Just don't know what that's about. Uh, the pickup height as well. Now, uh, these are, I'll show you what sort of guitar this is in a, in a minute. Let me just focus that. Duncan designed, so these were designed by Seymour Duncan and then produced out in the Far East and to his specifications and stuck on here. So they're not Seymour Duncan's, but they're Seymour Duncan designed. Uh, but let me show you how far they are away from the strings, man. Look at that. These are decked. So I can imagine when this is plugged in, it wouldn't be very loud, it wouldn't be you know, producing as much volume as it should be. Frets are in really good condition and, and the, the fingerboard is in really good condition. Let's have a look at this. It's got a black binding all the way up the fingerboard with black block inlays. That's very nice. The, fr the frets are in really good condition. There's that's nothing man that's nothing really good condition it's virtually brand new let's have a look on the back so as we can see it's a squire uh, three piece body made of some kind of wood looks like um, looks like wood So let's have a look at the back of the neck. Everything's in really good condition on it. Sorry about them moving about, I'm trying to. Everything's really good condition on this. And there we go, it's a 2009 Indonesian um, Squire Jazz. Let's have a look. Let's get some light over there. But very good condition, just needs setting up. The relief on it was crazy. I've already had a twist of the truss rod just to make sure that it works. And uh, it works fine. I've not even plugged it in and give it a play test yet. Just to see what's going on with it. But I'll show you more in a sec. Well, in the next video. Bike Tater, Stone Foundation, Jazz Bass.